Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Street Smart Swing. My name is Jamin Jackson, also known as the Galactic Swing Dance Umpire, and I'm super excited to be taking another look at a fresh new video today. This time we are going to Shanghai to an event called Crossover, and I am going to be scrutinizing an open Strictly competition. You know the open Strictly, it's a little difficult to judge, and I'm going to give you guys my thoughts right after this. It looks like everyone is pretty even when it comes to just basic skill so it could be really competitive we'll see what happens you guys know me i really want to see dancers balance creativity choreography and uh social dancing in this format let's see who can do it Looks like it's midnight there, maybe? It says 0110. I don't know if that's the actual, it doesn't look like military time, but we'll see. All right. What's going to happen? All right, who's gonna go first? <clears throat> lots, lots of hi hat. R and Faye. So far, I'm liking what I'm seeing. You can actually lead and follow those moves. That's a good set. Great set. Oh, I wish I could see this from the front. They're doing some really cool stuff. Yes. Yes. That was a good one. That was a good one, Dorian and Aaron. Okay. Let's see what happens. Okay. Oh, yes. I love that the little part where they added choreography together and that dead space was beautiful. Hmm. Round two. This couple has a lot of energy. I love that about them. They're like, wake up, judges. You better be paying attention to us. <laughs> Transition. Oh, he comes out with the slide. He's like, get out of here. That was nice, but it's my turn. 
Oh, 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 good transition. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. She didn't do a downward, like. <laughs> she didn't do the upside down V split. She did like a V split. Like her legs went way up. That was amazing. Yeah, I saw something on the ground. The camera moved out of the way. I wish I would have seen it. Ah, oh, the last, the couple, the guy with the bow tie and the girl with the blue dress, they just did something really cool. Ah. Oh. Ooh, wow. Guys, this, this was a really special one. This got me excited. This met my expectations. I just, I'm really surprised that all of these dancers actually followed the format. This is, this is good. This is good. I, now I will say I wish the camera would have been a little bit more settled so that I could have really paid more attention to the dancer's ability because some of these dancers did some really cool pieces and um, oh, it just, I, I couldn't get the real benefit from the angle. It's, it's sometimes it's better to see the profile of the move than looking at it, you know, directly on. So, oh, even with that, this was good. Let's talk about it. All right, guys, that was really fun. And I got to start off by saying, if you hear a lot of background noise, it's some people cutting my yard right now. So I apologize for that. But aside from the noise, I got to say up front that I'm super proud of every one of the dancers that performed in this. I don't care what anybody says, and I don't care how long you've been dancing. It still is a bit nerve wracking to get out there in front of an audience and perform. If you don't have any nervous jitters, you're not alive. Some dancers can use those, that nervousness to their advantage while others tend to crumble under the pressure. Now, um, in this open strictly, I gotta say it was pretty tight. These, like I said before, these dancers did what I wanted to see happen. But of course, to get in my top three, you have to have some qualities that the other, uh, in this case, the other couple didn't have. And I gotta start with my, my third place couple. My third place couple is R and Faye. What I liked about them is they had a tremendous amount of energy. They brought it with, they had the most energy. They had the most fire. They had so much to give. And I felt something when I was watching them dance just because they were emitting so much joy in their movements. And I think that's, that's a part of Lindy Hop that we can't forget. You know what I mean? This is dancing. People are supposed to have fun. It's supposed to, you're supposed to show some resemblance of happiness and joy. And they really embody that. Like if you, you take a look at this footage here, I have, uh, yeah, this right here, this, this particular shot. What, what I like about it is they come straight out doing things that I recognize, okay? Tuck turn, side by side, Charleston. They go right into some of their choreography. And like I mentioned in the video, the choreography is leadable and followable. That's not even a word, but you know what I mean. You can actually do these things on the social dance floor. And uh, even though they use it as part of their choreography, it doesn't look incredibly jarring. That's what I like about it. Now, even in their second set, they were doing like, you know, the same type of energy coming out doing movements that are recognizable and you know that's important like the frankie points here we can't forget these are some of the more basic movements that you have to have now i will say one of the things that i wish they would have done more is to show me a little bit more originality like even in this part right here where they go to the, the judges and kind of act silly yeah that's kind of funny but it's not original there's so many people who do that 
uh, to grab attention and to stand out and to get a response from the audience. I'm not totally against that. I think there are gimmicks in Lindy Hop that just simply work. They get people into it. But if the gimmick is higher than what you're displaying on the dance floor, then for me, it just, it's kind of lopsided. They nailed the craftsmanship part that I respect so much. And that's my third place winner. They were excellent. I just wish I would have seen more of them. I, want, I wanted to, that was the thing missing. I wanted to see a little bit more of what they could offer us creatively. And this is why my second place couple is my second place couple. And my second place couple goes to 61 and his lovely partner whose name I cannot pronounce because I am not multilingual and I apologize. So if someone please let me know her lovely name. Check a look, look at this footage. What, what I like about this, this, this was so interesting. They come out like the third place couple doing things that we all recognize. We can see these movements, tuck turns, go right into tandem Charleston. There was no rush. They didn't rush at all. They were like, hey, oh, wait a minute. They started doing their choreography in little spots that are more reminiscent of social dance movement. Even that little transition right there is so witty because you won't expect them to do choreography in those little moments. And of course, the nice introduction is great. You know, a lot of times dancers forget, you know, coming out is important and they did that. Now they did a lot of the same movements the third place couple did, but look again, they went into variations and in, in inconspicuous moments that you don't really think would be the case for a lot of dancers. So man, I gotta tell you, that was so refreshing. Those two little spots, there were two spots that they had where they were doing some basic movements and then they decided to do choreography in those spots where there were loose moments of the leader turning uh, while the follower was just kind of waiting. They just did choreography there and I haven't seen a lot of people do that. Even on a professional level, I don't see that. And I gotta give a big shout out because that was one of my highlight moments is seeing that little transition. That was just so tight, so tight, so good, so lovely. Just more, 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 I want more of that. All right, my first place. First place, guys, they had both the qualities of my third place couple, and they did what my second place couple did a lot more, but what's more interesting, they did stuff that showed me a little bit more of who they are uniquely. And this couple, guys, Big shout out to Dorian and Aaron. They just crushed it. Take a look at their set here. Of course, they come out and I'm a, this right here. Boom. Okay. They did so. Okay. They're switching things up. And right here. Oh, ho, ho, right there. When they went back into their little sets, these little, right there, these little angles, these little syncopated moments of clever, personalized styling. This is what Lindy Hop needs. We need more of this. Even this little break at the end. It's just so clever. Their first set won me over. As you could tell in my reaction and watching that, you, you, can't, you can't fake good ideas. I see when there's good ideas out there. I've, I've done this for years and for hours upon hours upon hours. And so you get used to seeing when people take a little bit of somebody else's move and then just add a little bit more sugar on top or they put a little cherry on top and they wear a new outfit and they come out like they made it up. I, I see that all the time. You know, some of your favorite heroes, your best dancers out there in today's time, they don't have that many original moves. There's nothing wrong with that but there is something kind of wrong with that when we're talking about swing dancing. You gotta have the craftsmanship, of course. You gotta have the people like us in the future who honor those movements who come before, but we gotta recognize those people who made up those movements, they had something to say. They wanted their uniqueness to stand out in such a way that they would be remembered. And they clearly are remembered because we're doing their moves. Now, Aside from that, I want to see new stuff. I want to see people bring in new ideas in a fresh and respectable way that just adds on to the legacy of Lindy Hop. And so Dorian and Aaron, if I had a hat, I, I do have a hat back there somewhere, I would take it off and I'd throw my shoes at this camera. We need more of that. That was awesome. The creativity was there. The timing was there. And the love for the art form obviously was showing when you guys were dancing. So. 
Man, I don't have much else to add to that one, guys. Just aside from the camera, I just wish the camera was from the front when I saw their set because they were doing a lot of movements that required you to see a little bit of the profile, but because the camera was on the other side, we could only see like the back of the follower and the leader and they were doing these things and it was just, it was so good because I could see it was in timing and it was super syncopated and rhythmic, but I really couldn't appreciate it. And it's not your fault, it's not your fault. Sometimes even the cameraman, I'm a camera guy too. And we just get carried away and excited. And we just want to see like everything moving. But sometimes less is more. So what do you guys think? Who do you think was your favorite dancer in this video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you haven't already, get out there and start competing. Don't be a chicken. I remember the very first time I competed, I uh, didn't really know what I was doing. I got third place. By the second time I completed, I, competed, I got first place. But I still wasn't satisfied after winning because winning first place isn't the goal. Getting better is the goal, okay? That's the goal. And I know for me, after winning so early, it's really hard to stay on top and it'll push you. See, look at that. He wants to get louder and louder as I'm talking. But continue to do it, guys. Work really hard at your craft, get better, get out there and compete. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So. Uh, with that said, if I don't see some of you guys taking some of my free courses or in some of my classes, I hope to see many of you all in my classes. I love sharing the ideas that I have and all the secrets that I've used for all over the years to get better and, and become more creative. Check out some of my free courses and I'd love to see you guys in my class online. If not, I want to see some of your comments in the comment section below. Take care.